sit. We'll do 30 seconds of each one. Good. Okay, let's change to uppercuts now. Chest up nice and tall, uppercutting. Sit. Good. Oh, you're out in the yard, Jilda. That's nice. Nice setting too. 20 more seconds on this one. That's it, here we go. 10 seconds. Right now, let's change hooks. So wrist, elbows, shoulder height. <clears throat> Keep your core on so your body's fairly still. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna do knee to elbow. See, you don't actually have to touch, but just bring the intention. If you can touch, that's a bonus. Good, 15 more seconds. Good work. Okay, now back to the start. Straight punches. That's it. Good job. Keep it going. 15 more seconds. Good. Okay, let's go uppercuts. Up under, chest up nice and tall. Ten more seconds here. That's it. Good job. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to hooks. Sit. That's it. Elbows nice and high. That's it. Good. I think I think Elsa's just joining us. That's it, good work, keep it going. Okay, now knees to elbow. That's it, good job, keep it going. Good, okay, now back to the start again. So left, right punches. We've got two more minutes to go of this. Just getting your body nice and warmed up, getting your heart pumping. Good job, uppercuts. That's it, keep it going. On to hooks. Good, and back to knee to elbow.
Let's do 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good work, okay. Have a little rest, grab yourself a drink. <clears throat> That's warm out here today. Okay, so grab your weights. We're gonna start with a squat press. Oops. Okay, so feet nice and wide, toes pointing out. Squat down and press up. That's it. So we're gonna work our way through a series of exercises. We're gonna have a one minute set with 20 seconds of rest in between each one. Hello, Olive. Fifteen seconds to go. Good. Okay, and then we'll take it to single arm press. So starting on one side. We've got 10 more seconds rest, so you can just take your rest first. Okay. Feet shoulder width apart, toes pointing out. Bring your core on. Bring your arm to shoulder height and then straight up. We're going to do 30 seconds on each side. That's it. So control it up and control it down. When you bring your elbow down, bring it underneath your shoulder height and take your elbow towards the back of your body so you can feel your scapula. That's it. Okay, one more on this side and then we're gonna change sides. So elbow back, straight up. Breathing in as you bring it down, breathe out as you press it up. Nice and controlled. Ten seconds to go. Good work. Okay, give your shoulders a little roll. Then we've got squat press again. Olive, come here. Okay, five seconds to go. Yeah. Okay, let's go. So we're squatting down, pressing up. That's it, nice work. So breathe in as you come down, breathe out as you press it up. 30 seconds to go. So this is working your butt, your legs, your core, shoulders and arms. Eight seconds to go. Good work, okay. 20 seconds rest, then we've got our um, single arm presses again. Okay, eight more seconds. Just gonna bring your arm up ready. Three, two, one, go. That's it, straight up. So we do 30 seconds on each side with this one. That's it, good. Breathe in as you control it down, breathe out as you press it up. Elbow slightly towards the back of the body till you feel your scapula. Deep breathing. That's it, nice work everyone. 
nice and controlled. One more on this side and then swap sides. Okay, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Okay, pick up your other weight that you've got there and we're gonna do um, lat raises. So we're gonna go straight out the front and then up out the side like this. Off you go. So when you raise it up the front, bring it up to nose level, Breathe out, breathe in as you lift it up to ear level and then breathe out. So inhale as you lift, exhale as you bring it back. Nice deep breathing. So this isn't working many arms and shoulders, also a bit of core. Ollie, back here miss. Good girl. Nice work, 10 seconds to go. Good work. Good, okay, next one's bicep curls. Ten more seconds rest. Back here. Come on. Back here. Come on. Okay, let's go. Oi, back here, Olive. Dogs just ran away. That's it, keep it going, 30 seconds to go. Ollie, come on. 20 seconds. Good girl. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Okay, 20 seconds rest. Just leash my dog. Give me. Okay, getting ready for lateral raises again. Okay, so lift up the front and to the side. That's it, good work. Deep breathing. Oh, someone's doing double arms. That must be you, Gilda. You can try double arms if you want, if your weights allow you to do that. We've got 10 seconds to go. Well done. Good, so back to biceps again. 10 more seconds rest. Okay, so soft knees, chest up nice and tall, and let's go. So breathe out as you bring your arms up. 
and breathe in as you drop them down. So keeping it nice and controlled both ways, working the bicep muscles in the upper arm. That's it, work. Twenty seconds to go. Good. Okay. Keep the weights in your hands. We'll do calf raises next. We should be able to go straight to it. Let's do calf raises. So lifting up your heels, lift up nice and high, up onto your toes and then slowly down. Take your feet a little wider, give you a bit better balance and then slowly down. That's it. Good. That's it, here we go, we've got 30 seconds to go. <clears throat> 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, next one, you can drop your weights down. We're gonna do a wall sit. So find yourself a piece of wall. I've got a nice piece of wall here. We get my clock. So I want you to sit against the wall low enough that if you had a pen on your, on your thigh, it wouldn't roll off. So nice and low. So you find a nice sturdy wall there where you are. <sighs> Tied the dog up so she can't run away anymore. Can you miss? <laughs> 30 seconds to go, that's it. Go well, keep it strong. Twenty seconds. A bit hard to play I spy with my little eye when we're all looking at something different. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Come off the wall, give your legs a shake. And we'll come back to calf raises so let's go straight into it so lifting up and all the way down it's nice and slow so working the hamstrings calves achilles stabilizes in your ankles and the little muscles in your feet and your toes. Deep breathing. The slower the better, the slower the harder. That's it. Twenty seconds to go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, so drop your weights down and then we're back to wall seat again. 
So find yourself a piece of wall. Okay, getting into position, nice and low. Good. It's pretty hot down here. That's it. So keeping it nice and strong. Thirty seconds to go. Going well. Keep it going. Working your quads on this one. Make them like a plank of steel. These are good for skiing, which is really helpful when you can't go skiing. <laughs> Fifteen seconds to go. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming up. Ah, good work. Rightio, grab yourself a quick drink, have a little break. Sit. Okay. Next one we're gonna do is a plank. So coming down onto the mat, getting yourself into a nice plank position. Okay, three, two, one, and go. So nice flat back, try and your bottom down. Deep breathing, keep it nice and strong. Got 30 seconds to go. Twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Give it a nice stretch in a child's pose. Stretch out your lower back. And then come into a seated position with your knees in front, heels on the ground, and grab one of your weights. And we're going to do a twist, a V-twist from side to side. Okay, let's go. So just a little bit of weight on your heels, not too much. So we're working your core, deep breathing. Touch the weight on the ground on each side. Hello, miss. 30 seconds to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Right, next one we're gonna do is a side plank. So coming onto your side, put your elbow underneath your shoulder. You can bend your legs, it's like a half plank and lift up from that spot, or you can have your legs out straight, which is a lot harder and you're coming up from there. So you choose, I'm gonna do a half one. You can challenge yourself if you wanna do a full one. We'll go for a minute on each side. Bring your, arm, your other arm up and take it towards the back of your body a little bit to open up your chest. 
So this is working the muscles down the sides of your abs called your obliques. And it's good to help strengthen the core area around the hips and glutes and things as well. 30 seconds to go. If it's too hard on your shoulder, just take a rest, go into child's pose. You can always have a rest, you don't have to kill yourself. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good work. Okay, coming down and change over to the other side. Make sure you've got plenty of padding underneath your elbow. Look out, miss. Okay, so elbow underneath your shoulder. Knees are bent or straight if you want to go harder. And lift up, lift up the hips, bring your arm up. Open up the chest, bring the, the arm that's in the air, bring it towards the back of your body. And some nice deep breathing. No digging. Ollie, stop it. Twenty seconds to go. These are pretty hard. Feeling the obliques, those muscles down the side of your abs. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one, and you're down. Excellent work. Now let's go back to our V sit. Now we'll go back to planks again. So front plank. Let me just give this dog some water. Yeah, miss. Okay, let's go front plank. Deep breathing, keep it nice and strong. We've got 30 seconds to go. If your lower back's starting to strain, it's okay to put your knees down. Let's see how you go. We've got 20 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Come down and stretch it out with the child's pose. And then back into position for the V sits with the twist. So knees bent in front of you with your heels on the ground. Pick up one of your weights. If you're finding it this one tough, you can do it without the weight. So we're twisting from side to side. Touch the weight on the ground, then go to the other side. Lots of abs today. Thirty seconds to go. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Finish it off. Three, two, one, done. Okay. Hug your knees up to your chest, roll onto your back. Give that a nice stretch. And then next is side planks again. So coming onto your side, elbow underneath your shoulder, 
knees bent or straight, whichever you decide you want to do. And inhale, lift the hips up and over the top. That's it, deep breathing. Keeping it nice and strong, 30 seconds to go. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Coming down, swap sides. Look at me. Okay, onto the other side, elbow underneath your shoulder, knees bent and lift up through the hips, lift your arm up. Off we go. Keeping it nice and strong. Out of the way. Twenty seconds to go, nearly there. Ten seconds. Five, four. Three, two, one, well done, good job. Okay, have a little rest, grab a drink. Okay, I think we'll do some stretches now. How's everybody feeling? Give me a thumbs up if you're okay. Yep, all good. Okay. So I'll do a round of stretches and then um, I'll ask you all if you've got anything special that you want. So we might start in a position on the ground. If your knees are okay, um, just sitting down on your knees. So this stretches our quads as well while we're here. If your knees aren't okay, you can stand up and do this one. So we're gonna roll our shoulders back and then back the other way. And then take your arms nice and big, really opening up through the shoulders and the chest and back the other way. Good. And then place one hand on the ground or by your side of the other one over the top, stretching the side of the body and then go to the other side. That's it, take it from side to side. Now, if you're on the ground, coming into tabletop, and I want you to tuck your toes under and lift your bottom up. So you bring yourself up into a downward dog. I'll just move it around so you can see. You're coming into a downward dog, and I want you to push your heels into the ground. So we give our hamstrings a nice stretch and our calves a nice stretch. Also stretching the shoulders. Good, and then bring your knees to the ground. Take your knees out wide and bring your bottom down to your heels, chest up tall, and then walk your hands forward. So you're coming into child's pose. So you're bringing your forehead down towards the mat and you should be able to stretch, feel a nice stretch in your lower back, a little bit of stretch in your groin area as well, a bit of shoulders. 
take a couple of breaths here. Just notice how your body's feeling now after the work, hopefully feeling a bit warmer and a bit more um, able to move without any stiffness. And then from here, we're gonna do a pigeon pose. So if your knees are good, this is great. If not, you can lay on your back and hug your knees up to your chest. So what we're gonna do is take the left knee forward and then um, take the left foot out to the side of the mat and then slide the right leg back. Can't hold him. And bring, you can either keep your hands on the mat and have your chest up and you should feel a nice stretch through the glute area. Or if you want to take it a bit further, you can bring your forearms down to the mat. Um, this is a really good stretch to take the tension out of your glutes, which helps to release lower back stiffness. So we just take a few breaths here. On each exhalation, allow your body to surrender into it a little more. And then come back up onto your hands and bring your knees back to tabletop. Take the right knee forward this time and take the right foot across to the left side of the mat and slide the left leg back, lift the chest up. And then if you feel you would like to go lower, you can bring your forearms down to the mat. Feeling a deep stretch through the right glute this time. And take some nice breaths here. Just reflecting on what you've done. Let's take two more breaths here. And then come back up and we'll do a thing called thread the needle next. This is really great for your shoulders. So I want you to go to tabletop, bring the right hand towards the middle of the mat. And I want you to inhale and lift the left hand up and take your eyes with it. So lift it all the way up and then exhale, thread that underneath the right and hover it. And then inhale, lift it back up again. Just getting a nice twist through the front of the chest. Exhale, bring it down. And on the third one, this is the last one. We're gonna lift it up and then we're gonna bring the shoulder and the ear down to the mat and slide the right hand forward. So we get a nice stretch through the left scapula. We'll take a few breaths here and just tuning into that nice stretch. It's quite a deep stretch on this on the shoulders. We've done a bit of shoulder work today. And then inhale, bring the left hand back up to the mat. And then slide the left hand towards the middle of the mat. Lift and inhale, take the right hand up, stretch through the front of the chest. Exhale, bring that right hand under the left, threading the needle. Inhale, up again, open up the chest. Exhale, bring the right hand under the left, hovering it, stretching it through. And this is the last one, lift up. And then as you exhale and come down, bring the right shoulder and ear down to the mat and slide the left hand forward. So you feel a nice deep stretch through the right scapula. Taking a few breaths here. One more breath. And then bring that back up. Come back up to all fours. Come back into child's pose again and just rinse out your back. Right, let's come into standing position. Good, take your feet out wide, nice and wide. Inhale, lift your arms all the way up. Just lift your chest up towards the sky or the ceiling and then exhale, fold forward. You can slide your hands down your legs to support your back and then bring your hands down to the mat and heel toe your feet a little wider and let your head and your shoulders fall heavy. So you get a really nice stretch down the back of the legs and the lower back. Let's take about four breaths here. Just let everything fall heavy. Look at the world through a different lens underneath your legs. I can see an upside down Harbour Bridge. 
two more breaths here. Just let go of everything. Let all your body just fall down towards the mat. And then walk your hands forward. Lift your chest up a little bit and stretch out your back. Heel toe your feet a little closer together. Come back up to standing. Give your legs a shake. And then we'll go into a quad stretch. So you can try your balance or you can go next to something you can hang on to, whichever you prefer. Bring your foot into your hand and bring your knees together and your heel to your buttock. Try to find something to stare at to help you with your balance. Take a few breaths here. So really squeezing and stretching that thigh. And then release, go to the other side. Notice how your balance is on the second side. Sometimes our balance is better than others. Taking a few deep breaths here, really squeeze that foot to bum, bring your knees together. Good, we'll release it. And we might do a couple of neck exercises, looking from side to side. And then chin to chest, stretching the back of the neck. Then looking up, stretching the front of the neck. Chin to chest again. And then look up. And then come back to center. Bring your left hand over your head and drop your right shoulder. Draw the, the head towards the left side. Feel that nice stretch. And then take it to the other side. And again, swap over. And swap over. Good. So I'll just come up to the up to you guys and take yourselves off mute if you want any special requests for any certain stretches you have. Oh. How are you going? Oh good, thank you. Oh good. How'd your knee go? You all right? Yeah. Uh, I got the physio physio helped. Good, good. <laughs> And what about um, Elsa and Martin and Peter? You got any other stretches? You're all good, Elsa. That's great. Okay. All good. Pete, what about you? are good, Martin. You're all good, yeah. Pete. Okay, great. Before you all run away, I'll just take a quick photo. Since you're all there, it's great to see. Thanks for coming today. The Thank more you. that come, the better it is because it's. Um, I feel it's more worthwhile when we have more people because we, more people benefit. So I'll just take your photo. Give me your best, most muscly shot. Give me this one. Yay. <laughs> Good on you. Excellent work. So thanks a lot for coming along. And I um, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Drink, drink lots of water today and maybe have an Epsom salt bath. Yes. Help relax. Help you with your muscle recovery. Thank you. And um, enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Right. And you right. too. You enjoy your Thank weekend you. too. Have oh, a good weekend. weekend. Bye. Right. Okay Bye. then. Bye everyone. See you. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. 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 Bye.